Welcome to F1 2019 Career Mode, the Australian Grand Prix. Oh my gosh, I saw the starting grid and everybody starting on the red tires. Hallelujah. Alright, formation lap first is the first thing I need to go ahead and... Yeah, we don't want to do that. Alright, formation line, just get this out of the way. I was going through the grid um, before the formation lap. Everybody is starting on the red soft Pirelli compound. That's kind of shocking, don't you think? For me, it is. Lap 15 is when I'll make my first pit stop. I'm going to stick with the red soft tire. And then with 17 laps to go, I'm going to go to the medium tire to go to the end of the race. Of course, the tires are a lot shinier this year versus last year. Alright. It's almost like in real life where Mercedes was on pole, but I'm on pole. And I got my trusty sidekick, Seb, behind me. Seb and I are going to have a good season. I, I, just hope I, I just hope I don't end up doing like a Charles Leclerc move. Which reminds me, I forgot to tell you guys this, but Wednesday I'm actually going to do a live stream for the real um, British Grand Prix, but without no practice. No qualifying, just straight to the race, and I would, and I would like to start. Uh, I'll select a driver. I think the first one I'm going to do is probably either Charles Leclerc or Seb. I'm going to drive us, and I'm going to do it on 99 AI difficulty for the full races. Okay, this is a first. We're going 112 kilometers an hour towards the uh, grid. Here we go. All right. The rest of the grid is forming up. Be patient. All right. Who's Three looking points. forward to my first ever F1 2019 career mode? Here we go. We're going to go. And the F1 2019 crew and race is underway. It's lights on the way we go. And I got off to a poor start. But Seb gets ahead of Valtteri Bottas. And I just showed the Mercedes white. And I accidentally took out Verstappen. That was my fault, Verstappen. I shouldn't have done that. And Seb and I have just got away. Well, that was a... I'll, I'll, I'll take the responsibility, you know, that's my fault. I'll take the blame because I deserved it. I didn't mean to wreck Verstappen. That was on accident. I think I just tried to make a move, but I think we were three wide. If you ask me. Ooh, Seb knew I was coming on the inside. But Seb and I are gone. This is crazy. That was a good start. Now Seb and I can just streak away. Seb, we're going to have a good season, mate. And I want to make sure I win that damn Constructor title this year. So I'm sick and tired of not winning the damn Constructor title. Came close in the F1 2017 career mode. Where, as of this recording, we're like third or something like that in F1 2018. But now I've joined a powerhouse team in Ferrari, and, well, you all know how that's going. Let's cool off. 37.4. Remember, now you notice that my name is highlighted in purple. That's because I own the fastest lap of the race. For right now. Remember, no DRS zone for the first two laps of the Grand Prix, so just keep that in mind. I think Seb, Seb's just trying to keep pace with me is what he's doing. Oh no! And I lost okay. control. That was a big one. <sighs> Damn it. 
I'm gonna actually have to cut that out. All right, sorry about that. I was probably got on the curb. Yeah, I'll I'll scratch it out. Don't worry. 4.54 seconds. My God, seven! I just took off like crazy. I'll cut that wreck out. Don't worry, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a two stopper because that's what I'm gonna plan on is do a two stopper. I'm gonna run soft, soft, medium to the end. I don't know what I don't know what I don't know what the strategy uh, my teammate Seb is gonna do. I think a lot of you guys are a little surprised. I'm driving for the for my favorite team that I always cheer for, and that's Ferrari. But I'm slowly starting to pull away from Seb. Yep, there it is. DRS enabled. I accidentally fucked Max Verstappen. I'm sorry to Max Verstappen. But I think he must have forced it three wide. I'll watch. The, I'll watch the replay of the start when we get to the high. When, when we get to the end of the race, I'm gonna rewatch the start and see what I did wrong. Either I don't think I gave up. Uh, Verse Max any room. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I apologize to Max Verstappen, so I'll take the responsibility for that. But then, it, then again, I got off to a poor start, and I knew Seb was going to overtake me on the start of the race, so I was not I was not too worried about the start. I knew I knew Seb had a better start than I did, so it's okay. As long as we play the strategy smart and conservative and not get royally effed, you know what I mean? Like, what's going on with Ferrari in real life. New this year for the F1 2019 career mode is that if your name is highlighted in purple like mine is right now, that's because I own the fastest lap of the race. And you get an extra bonus point doing so. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. We're leading our teammate by 3.1 seconds. I think Seb and I are just taking it easy. I think we're about to get another sweep here. Because I've been quick out of the gate. Me and Seb have been quick this weekend here in Melbourne. I think a lot of people are not surprised about that, but surprised that me and Seb are just pulling away from the two silver arrows that are just breathing down our neck. I'm just pulling away from Seb. I knew it's going to be a fight between me and my teammate, but I'm going to race my teammate with respect. Let's get that right. And this is also going to be the first uh, F1 game that I'm not going to have like a two, three month gap between races since I bought the full game. Should I point this out to everybody? Unlike F1 2017, 2018, I went a month and a half, two months or so to get the game to continue the Let's Play. But F1 2019, that will not be the case as I will go straight ahead to the next race. So. As long as we nail the strategy, we should be okay. I want to make sure the car is okay. I want to make sure I didn't have any damage to the car. It looks like the car is okay. I was a little concerned if the car was, oh, was, was going to be damaged after the collision with Max Verstappen, but the car is okay. So. That was a little worry I had going into this race. Was I gonna survive lap one? And guess what? I was wrong. It didn't take a pr it didn't take a genius to tell you if I was gonna make it past the opening lap or not. Or says my tires go into a further run. Something new I'm gonna have to get used to is the shininess of the tires. 
course, we're not very. I'm never used to like Alex Albon or or uh, um, George Russell. I know the Williams cars are going to be dead freaking last. Let's get that shit right. I love how they put the uh, the sector times. I a couple of good things I like. I like the uh, the graphics they've done for this game. I mean, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Codemasters a great job what they've done. The paint schemes look look amazing in real life and in this game. I really like uh, the I really like the challenges. I really like how they did the uh, graphics. They did a good job on the F2 cars. I'm actually going to um, try to gain some D ERS, so I'm just going to chill with zero ERS. I'm up by six seconds over my teammate Seb. I think Seb is just taking it easy. But at least, at least I gave my teammate plenty of room. Okay, maybe a little too much room trying to get the lead back, but at least I gave him plenty of room. I want to start off. I want to start off this career mode at Ferrari with a bang. Yeah. I think Seb is kind of struggling trying to pull away from the Mercedes of Bottas and Lewis. Of course, remember in the F1 2018 career mode in at Paul Ricard, and I talked about this at Paul Ricard. Both Lewis and Seb both got royally screwed because of the weather. I can tell you when we go to Bahrain next week, we're not going to have to deal with rain because we're in the middle of the desert. So the, the opening two races of this career mode, just like the F1 2018 career mode, no rain in the forecast. That means we're going to have to use at least two sets of dry tires. However, unlike F1 2018, F1 2019 will have the F2 series, which you'll see that uh, next time out. Probably see that next weekend. Because the F1 2018 career mode is following the schedule. Let's use some of this energy. Increase the ERS deployment. Well, I, I don't want to waste it up. I'm going to go. I'm going to do this. Go high and then conserve. Oh boy. Yeah, the tires are starting to get ready to go away. How how far are these tires? 27 on the left rear, 21 right. Yeah, left rear is going to take a beating. But I got some new power upgrades and I'm going to have to get... I'm gonna get some more resource points so I can get some, so I can upgrade the uh, the gearbox, the engine, and all that yada yada yada. So we got a lot of work, and we're starting to work on the car early, unlike later in the season. course I'll start my hot lap guide for Silverstone uh, beginning next race or beginning on Tuesday is when I'll start doing my lap guides I'm actually going to show you lap guides from Austria from the first eight races of the season then we'll start my lap guide from Silverstone since I started the lap guide from the F1 2018 career mode from the F1 2018 and now I'm going to carry it over to this one so and I'll draw and I'll be driving the Ferrari simulator you'll be shocked who I'll be driving for if you're watching this video you want you're probably not shocked I'm pulling away probably pulling away from my teammate Seb but never but Seb is currently struggling trying to pull away from freaking uh um, who is it? Uh, oh yeah, Boltas. God, Lewis Hamilton's like fourth. 
And then I think it's the best of the rest because I knocked for Stappen down the last time I checked. He was like in 20th dead last after I took him out on accident. I don't know if Max is gaining any time or not or if he had to come in the pits to replace check and see if he's got damage because I pretty much fucked him on his strategy which I apologize to and why the fuck is Alfa Romeo sucking like ass is beyond me oh Hamilton just got around Valtteri. I think Valtteri... Oh, nope. Valtteri just got around Hamilton. If those two continue to do that, that's going to mean Seb's going to pull away and take off in the distance. Everybody had a great day today on this late Saturday, early Sunday morning. Nine laps are complete. We are now on lap 10. This is a 58 lap race. Pit window will be in the next five laps or so. That's when I'll start making my first pit stop of the race and go on to, you guessed it, the soft tires. Actually, I could have gone, uh, I got on the curb. I had something stuck in my nose. I'll have to wait until I get down the straightaway. I just ran that sucker wide. And I'm using Kyle Langland's car number. Yeah, there's a little bit of scrape on the right side, but I don't think it's that badly hurt. Cockpit, as you see. Tell you how much fuel I have, 52 laps. 48 laps to go here in Melbourne, Australia. If you guys are having a talk show later today, I wish you all the best. But now, like I said, as I said so many times in the F... Yeah, I think my engineer has a good point. But as I was going to say before I got cut off, um, if you guys are having a talk show coming up later today as of this stream, or as of this premiere... I wish you all good luck, have fun, and it uh, should be exciting, so. But for right now, the main task is just to enjoy this race, enjoy this, well, a very calm race. Don't know how worn. Yeah, these tires are about to be junk. Medium tire. I'm going to change up my strategy a little bit. 
I'm actually want to get onto the medium tire and see if I can get set some lap times. I need to go ahead and put my ERS down to zero so I can recharge the battery. I, I've been doing this, just recharge the battery. Ah, shit, I got in the grass. I didn't want to go. I, I'm not going to push it. I just want to take it easy. I can worry about upgrading the damn car later. Soft tire. Soft tires. Roger that. Soft tires at the next pit stop. God dang, the car is just out of freaking control. No, let's just do this. Affirmative. Medium tires at the next stop. I'll just do medium. If 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 medium doesn't work, then I'm gonna be kick saying to myself, what the fuck did I do to the strategy? Because if I set the tires, then now you know that everybody's gonna come to the pits. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on mediums. Yep. Good thing I like the soft, medium, hard. Might go hards for. Actually, for Bahrain, I want to take a little strategy page. I might do mediums so I can avoid the, that sticky, grippy soft tire. And then go hard to the end. That's what my strategy is going to be for Bahrain. Think Malay, think China. I don't know how I'm going to plan China for the 1000. Yeah, this should be a good finish to the end. Or, or not a good finish. I'm not... Why the fuck did I say good finish? I meant to say this should be a good stint. How, how are the tires? Ooh, yeah. Doing 15 laps on these? Yeah. Can't imagine doing how many laps I can do on a set of mediums. Now these tires are about to be halfway done, in particular the left rear, left side of the car. pit stop wonder what Seb is gonna do for his strategy box this lap box this lap
Want a nice good no Ferrari mistake pit stop. If we end up having a Ferrari mistake, we're in big trouble. Take care of my speed limit. I don't want to do it because if I speed, you know it. You know what will happen. So. All right. After this pit stop, we'll take our first media timeout. As there's the V8 supercar pits. Wow! Almost 50% on the on the tires. That's pretty damn surprising. Yeah, those tires were junk. Alright. 2.6. Now will I beat my teammate is the question. It doesn't look like it. But I'm going to get ahead of the Mercedes. So now Seb's going to have to push. I should go ahead and push as well. After this lap, we're going to take our first commercial break. So now I've complied with the regulations, and now I'm good to go. Medium tires. Vettel knew I was going to do that. We'll take a break. Be back. I need to turn my ERS down. I need to put on load because it's starting to 
we're at the meal. Lap 18 of 58, I have met God, Perez is in second? Shit. So far so good, just taking it easy. Only had one little incident, but or not, I've really driven a clean race. The only incident was with Verstappen, but I've driven a clean race. I gotta go 40 laps. These tires are still good. I'd Bahrain as the next race. <clears throat> really enjoying this game. I'm really glad I got to play this game because I really wanted to start this career mode ASAP and guess what? Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But I can't wait to see what the graphics will look like at Bahrain next time out. So, so we are on lap number 20 of this of the scheduled 58 laps. Excuse me. Start getting our parts ready. Gonna work on the gearbox, gonna work on the power unit, all of the above. Hopefully everybody is having a great day today. I want to first off um, say I really do hope you guys are looking forward to this career mode with me as Ferrari. The reason I joined Ferrari is because, well, number one, I'm a Ferrari fan. Number two, I want to do a career mode with Ferrari one of these days. We're definitely looking forward to free, looking forward to uh, the F2 season opener. They'll be starting with us in in a couple of weeks at uh, Bahrain. Twenty complete, thirty-eight laps to go. I haven't even touched the ERS. I'm just wait. I'm just trying to get this charge. Oh, I like the graphics with the blue flags. This is Antonio Giovinazzi, who is now about to go a lap down. Alfa Romeo has had a really terrible weekend. 
Now Gio knew I was coming and lets me go. Thank you, Gio, for letting me go. Just taking it easy on the tires. Really critical to take it easy on the tires. Especially here because the tires don't won't last long if you push too hard. I didn't know what to expect with the sunshine. Well, I expected with, with the sunshine, but never with cloudy conditions. So that's why I want to just take it easy on these tires. Alright, next up is one of the Williams. I think that's one of the racing point. Or no, is that... Um, I know one of them is a Williams. I don't know who the other car is that I'm about to... That I'm getting ready to approach. Of course, my name is still Purple. That's because this year in the F1 2019 crew mode, as well as in real life, we have what we call, if you get the fastest lap of the race, you get a point, and one point could mean the difference between winning a championship and not. Okay, that's Kubica, and that's Danny Kafiat, the driver I replaced in the F1 2017 Let's crew mode. I just want to wait till I have a full charge. I need to get a. I need to let Coop. Okay, Coop eats up, lets me go. Thank you, Coop. Not surprised Coop eats is having a bad race. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm freaking surprised that uh, Kafia's about to get passed by a freaking Williams car for crying out loud. Ah, I turned too early. I don't know why I turned too early, but I did. That's my bad. I met with the uh, comp with the uh, regulations. I had to use two sets of tires. I've swapped to the medium tire, and I'm gonna go medium to the end. Well, actually, if I have one more set left, I think I do. I think I do have a medium tire left. Medium tire. And I'm catching Kimi Raikkonen rare. I'm catching Raikkonen in an Alfa Romeo. I'm used to him driving the car that I'm currently driving, which is this car. Coming up next, that's one of the, I think that's one of the Red Bulls. That's probably either Gasly or Verstappen, but if I had to take a guess, I'm guessing it's Gasly. Like it's Vettel, Vettel's like now in second after Perez had to make his stop. And that's the, that's the Toro Rosso. That's one of the Toro Rosso's. That's Alex Albon. And that is Gasly. I'm about to pull that down. I'm surprised Gasly's not up here at the front. I don't know what the hell Gasly's doing back here in a freaking Red Bull. I mean, this is not... This is unheard of. 
about to put Gasly in one of the fastest cars of a in the world, the third fastest team, a lap down. That is not the race Pierre Gasly was hoping for. Is that Max Verstappen? The next car up the road? If that is Max Verstappen, what has happened to Red Bull in this race? Oh boy. Christian Horner will not be a happy camper, and rightfully so, if that is Max Verstappen up the road. And if that is the case, what in the world has happened to Red Bull? Let me confirm it is Verstappen. It is Verstappen. Oh, boy. Christian Horner will not be a happy camper after that. If his drivers are about to get lapped by me. Even though I'm the one who took out G Max Verstappen and ruined his race, which I'm sorry. Looks like Max is not recovered. Hell, George Russell just passed the Red Bull. <laughs> you serious? George Russell's ahead of the Red of both the Red Bulls. Are you kidding me? WTF? Max Verstappen's going to get beat by a Williams car. GG, game. You can't be joking. You cannot make this up. Are you kidding me? Max Verstappen is getting beat by a Williams car as I accidentally ran the back of Science. He slowed down so far. How is that a collision when I couldn't check up? How did he check up? Didn't catch that. Say again. Are you Say serious? He can't get out of the way quicker. What a numbskull. And I got damage to the front wing. Oh, wonderful. Now I need to take it easy because the last thing I need to have down my neck is damn Seb breathing down. Oh, and I ran wide. Crap. I cannot believe Max Verstappen. Okay, take it easy on the car. We can't sustain this level of damage. Oh, God. Yeah, I need to pick up the pace. Because I got Verstappen breathing down my dang neck. How is that a collision when he, w when he can't get out of the way quicker? I tried to slow down, but... I messed up that corner and I almost took myself into the tire wall while trying to protect, trying to hold off Max Verstappen. He is breathing down my neck. Thankfully, I saved the car. Thankfully. And I ran a little wide. Oh, and Lando is not happy with me. I am really struggling trying to take it easy. Oh boy. So we don't, I don't ruin Verstappen's, ah! Yeah, blue flag, blue flag, blue flag. Yeah, Verstappen let me go, thank you. What I was trying to do is save some energy in the ERS because I was getting low. And now we're just going to have to just manage it. Hard tire. Couldn't receive that. Repeat the message. Ah. 
I ran off the track trying to tell him hard tire. Hang on. Let's go hards to the end. That's Danny Rigg in P11, Daniel Ricardo. As I ran off the track, he won this race in the F1 2018 career mode. Doesn't look like he's going to win it this year in the F1 2019 career mode unless Renault can get their you know once together. Who's that in front of uh, Danny Rigg? I, I, don't, I couldn't tell who it was. Might need to change my front wing just to be safe than sorry. Go ahead and do that. That's uh, oh, that's Lando Norris. That's one of the new rookies this year in the uh, in this game. Good run for Lando. All right, we are going to take a commercial. And come right back. 